All right, the purpose of this video is to show you how to set up your game list for a night of bingo. The first thing to check is that the menu is in this setup on the console. You want to be able to see the word bingo 75 and JP equals zero. The first step is to go into the menu mode. We do this by pushing the menu button. You'll see that you have some options scrolling on the screen. The first option is, is the one that we will be working with, which is to edit our game list. So we'll push the number one. And again, it's scrolling through some options. The first option we want is to edit our games. So that's option one. And again, we can maintain the game list. We can turn the game list on and off. Or we can exit out of the menu. But we want to edit our game. So we're going to press 1. And you'll see in our example, it's actually on game number 3. And it's uh, set up currently with a coverall. But you can change it. This is where we'll get into ch being able to change it. Um, to see all of the patterns that are in the machine now, you scroll up and down a list with the 1 and the 6 key. 1 to go to the top of the list, 6 to go down the list. And you'll see as I'm doing this that the various games change. So at any given time, we can insert a game either before or after the existing game that's shown. So in my example, let's say I want to add a game before number seven, before the coverall. To do so, we start by entering or pushing the enter key. And you'll see the menu again displays to either add it before or after the existing game that was displayed. So in my example, I wanted to add a game before the coverall or game number seven. So I press the number one. It's now asking me what pattern that I want to enter here. And this is uh, available. The list of patterns is available in the instruction manual, which you should have. But in my example, I want to add the pattern uh, number 101. So I hit 101. And I hit enter. And you'll notice it displays now that that is going to be game number 7. And it, that particular pattern is called all in. If that's what I want, I hit, I can continue on. And I can add before or after that game. And I can continue to go through the list and, and add games, whatever pattern I want to add, add. This is the crazy diagonal, which if you notice that now was game number eight. That was because I added it after the game. If you want to delete a pattern that's in there, you simply go to the pattern that you want to delete. And again, we use this by using the one and the six key to go up and down the list. So. You'll see I'm, I've hit the bottom of this list, which means there's no other patterns in the machine beyond this game number nine. Let's just say for my example, I want to delete that game. I don't want that game anymore, number nine. I'm going to hit the enter key where I can add before or after. Or if you wait as this scrolls, you'll see that option number three is to delete that game. So I want to delete that coverall. So I hit 3, and it now deleted that pattern. It's asking for a confirmation to make sure you want to do that. One is to confirm that you want to delete. And if you don't want to delete it, you will hit 5 to exit out. So I do want to delete my pattern. So I hit 1. And you'll notice now that we're on game number 8. If I go to the bottom of my list, game number 8, is now the crazy diagonal and the coverall is gone. 